Welcome to Reloading from the Hot Pot. Here, I like to do good gun, gear, and accessory reviews, plus share a little bit about my life. If you're not subscribed, please consider giving a subscribe below, turn the bell notification on, always give a like, and please share. Welcome back my pupils, this is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Hey, today I got something in from my Taurus LCP2 Max. I got something from L M Carbo and Galloway Precision. And yes, I have the envelopes correct. <laughs> I really, really, really love this little 380. Oh, that little holster you ask. Well, I purchased that little holster off of eBay. I think I gave $25, $30 for this. Very, very happy with it. Very minimalist. Very, very easy to carry. But we're here for the Ruger Max. As I was saying, I really, really love, love this little pistol. Easy to carry. I mean, just lightweight, 13 rounds of hollow point, 30, 380 ACP. Some people scoff at it. I don't want to be shot with a BB gun. I have been shot with a BB gun. I didn't like it. <laughs> But we're going to put this to the side and we got the trigger pull gauge out here. Now, what I got from M Carbo, I didn't open this up yet. Here, I just do it. See, they trick you. They got that little pull tab looking thing there. Don't let them fool you. If you try to pull that, you're going to get a pair of scissors out anyways, just like I did. Runs with scissors. Got a little package out of the way. M Carbo Brotherhood. I love M Carbo. I've used them quite a bit. Here, that's my little bill of sale. Doo doo, bullet trajectory chart, yada yada yada. Okay, this, this is what we're here for. Okay, combat ready performance. Ruger LCP Max Trigger Spring Kit. 10 pound hammer spring, 12 pound hammer spring, and a couple of little pieces in there. We got another spring here and one here. So we're going to get into this and see what it takes to uh, do that spring kit. Also, also what I got, uh, Galloway, you probably already know what it is. If you, if you watch this kind of stuff and you do this kind of stuff, and uh, you probably already know what it is. Get out of the way, my invoice, it's going to cost everybody the same. I'm not sponsored by either of these companies. I purchase everything with my own money oh here we got the steel guide rod and recoil spring stainless steel guide rod and then i got a new trigger for it to reduce the trigger uptake this i got this one in red i believe it is made out of aluminum it appears to be it's already got the dingus dingus in the middle there not too big that one that's in it is super big but we got these little products in because I love shooting this so much. We're going to show clear first. We have nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magwell, just sitting in a blank empty holster now. Well, now it's an empty holster. You've got some dust on there because I carry it all the time. But I really, really like this little pistol. Um, I developed a load for it. It shoots great. It's flat. It's on target. Um, and I really like having fun with it. What I don't like about it is this trigger. The trigger trigger kind of stinks. Make sure we're clear. The trigger on this comes back to a flat wall, but man, that brake is snappy. And then the reset on it is way out here. So we're gonna take a trigger pull test of this and see exactly what that is. Then we're gonna put these items in and see where it ends up. I already watched some videos on this. Whoa, we've got almost an eight pound trigger. Let's do that again. If I can get that down to six pounds, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's just so much fun to shoot, it is. Just had to the range last weekend. 
Yeah, there we got just about seven, seven and a quarter pound. So right between a seven and eight pound trigger. Um, I'm not gonna do any more pulls on it. It's kind of pointless to keep pulling over and over and over. So we're gonna go off here and ask per YouTube's policies. We can't show you the disassembly and installation and reassembly and anything on these, but we can show you the before and then the after. So hold on, we'll be back in a minute. Boom! There we go. We are all done with that. That was quick, wasn't it? Like a snap of the finger. Couple little tricky spots, but I got it. I got it. Not a problem at all. Man, it's still clear. Still clear. We're still on the bench. Haven't went anywhere. Um, man, I'll tell you what. The first feeling of it, way better. Way better. The reset, it's not too much different, but just the way the trigger feels. So before we had, let's say a seven and a half, because it showed seven and a quarter, then almost eight. So let's say it had a seven and a half um, pound trigger pull. So with this um, short stroke trigger from Galloway Precision and the M Carbo spring kit, and I chose to put the 10 pound hammer spring in, I still have the 12 pound hammer spring in. I can put it in if I have any issues as well as I have kept all of the stock parts. If I have any issues at all, I can refer back to the stock parts and maybe exchange one at a time and see where my issues are coming from. But that shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> so let's take a trigger pull on this. Right at the bottom of that dingus. Wow, we are down to just under a five pound trigger. Let's do that again. just a hair over. So we're gonna say five pound trigger. So that spring kit took away three pounds of trigger pull, which is incredible. I mean, this should really, really crisp it up for doing some range planking and carrying. Most excellent, most excellent. Very happy with that. Very happy with my holster too. Man, you can just uh, eBay them. Things kind of dusty. I do wear it on the daily. And they are going to get dusty in there. Safely back in the holster again. Well, that's all I got for you today. That's my little giddy up and go from my Ruger Max LCP chambered in 380 ACP. <laughs> I'm really happy with that little pistol. Great carry piece. I got 13 rounds on me and another uh, 10 round magazine in my other pocket during my, during my EDC during the day. I'm just really happy with it and um, get ready to take this out to the range uh, maybe I'll take you all along with me do a little filming shooting this thing and we'll see how the accuracy goes because sometimes without heavier trigger you tend to pull it a little bit you know just trying to get to get it to break and you end up going a little bit low which is why I did this um, I want to be on target if I have to use this in any situation from range plinking to self-defense I want to be on target which is why I did this Okay, my pupils, that's all I got for you. Thanks very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. And always remember to keep blowing the smoke.